Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wayslam reviewer, and I'm here to review this much I know to be true. And this is a new music documentary exploring the creative relationship between Nick Cave and Warren Ellis as they're creating music for Ghost Teen and Carnage, their two most recent albums together. And this is directed by Andrew Dominic, who they previously worked with on the assassination of the coward Robert Ford. Uh, the assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Such a mouthful. Such a long title. And Andrew Dominic, who also has Blonde coming out, the new Ana de Armas, uh, Marilyn Monroe film. And so Dominic has some interesting films coming out this year. This is a film that spends a bit of time focusing on, like, you get some interview moments to see, peek behind the curtain of Nick Cave, of Warren Ellis, their creative process, how they engage with people, how their perceptions of people in society that kind of comes into their music. This film, when they're shooting the, like the actual performances, is dynamic. The cameras move in interesting and intriguing ways. The lighting they experiment with there's a lot of energy. There's just a passion to these performances from Cave and then Ellis, who's doing a lot of like the conducting kind of thing with like the backup singers. And some of these performances just like bam, hit you. This is some amazing music that they put together in this film. There are some moments where some of the songs didn't resonate as much with their with uh, Cave's like very abstract, poetic kind of lyrics. Um, some of it doesn't make a whole lot of sense at times, and maybe it will take a lot longer to just sit and process to really fully grasp the meaning and the impact of these lyrics that Cave is singing at us, whether he's using his deep baritone or he's doing some falsetto, which... Also, sometimes feels a little bit much. There's one, there's one particular song that I feel like his whole thing went a bridge too far, and kind of took me out of the film because I'm like, I think this, I think this particular song is a bit much for me, because like, I think this film is dynamic and engaging from a technical standpoint. I think it's inspiring and engrossing and engaging from a creative standpoint. And you get to know these two artists, and I think it does a fine job of being bold and minimizing the traditional aspects of a documentary you expect and really focusing on the music. And the music says so much in these deep, weird, and offbeat kind of poetic, uh, lyrical pieces that Cave puts together. Overall, this is quite a winner on Mubi. I would highly recommend this. If you do have access to Mubi, I think this should go quite to the top of your watch list because this is something totally engrossing and poignant, especially if you love music, and even more specifically if you love Nick Cave and uh, Warren Ellis's music. But those are my thoughts on This Much I Know To Be True, let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.